Turgeon making all kinds of personnel moves. Here's Hillman ready with his second shot. It's up and it's also good. 17 for Scenario, five point lead for Alabama. AM hustling down court. Sloan with the ball, gets the screen, drives the lane. Outside it goes to walk up. But it's three, it's good. <laughs> walk up is a guy who hit a three pointer yeah. with 20 yeah. seconds to go last week to beat Arizona. Do you realize in that basketball game against Arizona that that was the first time they led? That's right. The last shot of the game, walk up just comes and drills one. And now they've got to be smart. They've got to keep the ball off the best free throw shooter's hands. And it does. And Alabama's got to find some way to get the basketball to steal. Uh, on the inbound play and draw the foul. Found it. Some good shooters out there. Torrance and Steele, no doubt, will be the guys they want to get it to. G runs the baseline. Gets it in to Torrance. Torrance dribbles once, dribbles twice. He's fouled. And McKeel Torrance, the junior out of 8 Mile, Alabama, who has not played at all this evening, will go to the line with two huge free throws for the Crimson Tide with 13. A lot pass, but they did get the basketball in. Big free throws, as you mentioned. Torrance with a couple. The first one. Rattles around and falls, his first point of the night. He did a nice job to get some separation so he could get the inbound pass with him. Yes, he did. Big free throw here. All right, Torrance with his second of the evening. Time is up. It's off the mark. And AM gets the basketball. 11 seconds to go. Bama with a three point lead. Sloan quickly across the line. Six, five. Sloan drives in the lane, dumps it out to Holmes. A three point shot is good. We're going to overtime in Tuscaloosa. Well, we got 1.1 second left. And Mark Gottfried's going to call a timeout. What a huge play by PJ Holmes. Huge. Free throw doesn't go down. They fight for the rebound. And ends up with a pretty darn good dribble penetration yeah. by Sloan. No doubt. Here, you, here you see it, and here you see the help. And you, you can't actually you can't afford to help there. You got to stay with your man. And they don't understand that. You know that, and that's hard to get your kids to understand sometimes. But that can't be a situation where you help. You give that long ago. I think it was Arizona at mid court. Long pass. Knox tries to get it. Throw back to the other end. Get a little extra basket. Well, here. I, I think tuned in for the fight. Just stay tuned. We got us a heck of a fight here. Tip is controlled by Alabama. Steal with the basketball to the Crimson Tide. Goes over to G on the left wing. Knox just inside the three-point line. Tillman underneath to Jemis. Demetrius goes down. Another shot. Jemison, the second one. It's also good. Two huge free throws by the junior from Huffman High School in Birmingham. Five for him. Two-point advantage for the time. Now you got to play defense. Got to get a stop here if you hit time. Side they go. Brian Davis at the line, 70% free throw shooter. A dozen points on the line. Motions up, back by two. Davis, second free throw. It's in a good 13. We've had a pretty physical basketball game, especially the blocks. Here's Jemison at the line, three of four on the lead. His first shot does not go. Chance to cut the AM lead to one. Big free throw here. If he does miss. Knock it home, Harder and Lowe coming out high, trying to get that three-point shot. Gets it to Alano. Back yep. to Sloan. They'll line up Carter near Deegan, bring him out. Looks like that. G did a pretty nice job to fight through and get out on him. Sloan to the lane, inside the arc. The jumper is good. Curry it. Sloan with the ball, drives to the basket. Loses it, gets it. Back and will bring it back out and reset it. 34 on the game clock. Now, the 1% shooter on the season. Well, B.J. Holmes is largely responsible for this win for a and if they do win it, because he, he played awfully big in there, although he's a really, really pecker head. He played awfully well. Six-foot sophomore, some huge board work. The shot is up, it's good. Although he's a really, really pecker head. He played awfully well. So, really, really pecker head. He played awfully well. Just in their van. Holmes ready with the second shot. It's good, and A&M's up by five. 
Alabama's got a hustle now. 28, 27. Here's G to put up the three. It's no good. Rebound. Tip, tip, and control by AM. That's pretty well the basket. 1.1 seconds. So here's Sloan with two. Now it's difficult for Mark and his staff to feel very good about this. They, I thought they played out just in the end. Couldn't quite pull it out. Not Mark purging in the yet or any of them. Second free throw is no good. Coleman with the rebound. Going up down quickly. Trailing by half a dozen. Hilton with the basketball. Long three by scenario. Won't go. Two with two for AM. Back at home to take on Florida AM on Monday night. Along his second stay, they'll head down to LSU on the 20th. Final seconds of the game. Steele puts up the three. It's off the mark. Carter will get the rebound for Texas A&M. And the Aggies, to their credit, fight from behind over and over again and win this basketball game 86-78. That final score, an eight-point advantage, but it certainly was much no, closer than that.